let it, let it bang. What's good, bosses? Welcome back to my channel. If you're a regular, what it do? If you're new here, welcome. Okay, so if you guys haven't already, make sure before you even continue watching this video that you check out the description box for all the frequently requested links anything that you probably would be looking for is going to be in there as well as a coupon code for subscribers so make sure you go check it out also make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any lives uploads anything of that nature but for today um this video may actually continue on to tomorrow depending on what i have to do but um basically a date somebody will yet <laughs> period um kind of like a day in the life but kind of like the stuff that i do when i don't have orders to fill so i filled up my orders yesterday i don't have any orders today um and just kind of like updating you guys on a little bit of stuff too um i just got done doing my homework so right now i'm downstairs i'm in the kitchen um, myself and my brother we made a couple of batches of cream and oil um they're out of they were out of stock at the shop so um, I need to get some for there. I'm out of stock on my website. And I need to start getting stuff together for Black Friday and Cyber Monday as well as the holidays. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, a lot of times you guys ask me, um, how do I stay motivated um, when I'm not getting orders and, you know, stuff like that. And honestly, it's by staying busy um, and always keeping in mind just because you're not getting orders, it may not be you, it may be the actual consumers. So a lot of times I like to say, keep in mind that people have stuff going on in real life um, every day, all the time. It, it, life never stops, okay? So for an example, if it's the beginning of the month and you're not getting any orders, keep in mind that a lot of people's bills are coming out of their accounts and they need to get their bills and stuff paid. Um, the first like week of the month um sometimes people have bills in the middle of the month and sometimes people have all their bills that are due at the end of the month so keep that in mind um we are still in a pandemic so if you're someone like me you started a business during a pandemic kudos to us but still keep in mind like i said some people are without jobs and they have more important things to get than things that they want and not what they need so even though sales might have been booming last week and they're not booming this week, that doesn't mean anything. Keep it pushing. Work on your website. Um, add new stuff to your website. Add, talk to your vendors. Find new products. Keep the idea, ideas flowing. Um, so for me, so far today, I've um, uploaded some content onto my Instagram and I'm going to start filling some of this stuff up. Um, I'm going to edit some videos um for youtube for this channel my other channel it's like so much stuff we can do so um i'm gonna just show y'all and talk to y'all a little bit um about some of the stuff that i do like i said when orders aren't booming um and also um when i say keep in mind that people have other stuff going on also keep in mind that some people get paid bi-weekly some people get paid weekly some people get paid monthly um some people get their unemployment check every other week you know you got to keep that in mind so yeah it may not be booming this week but next week when the unemployment hits people's accounts that's when they got their money you know what i'm saying so um i say all that to say just keep in mind that it may not always be you it can really be what your consumers have going on so keep that in mind um but like i said when you don't have orders just keep yourself busy keep working on your business um there should always be something that you're doing concerning your business so um yeah i'm about to turn my ipad on i'm gonna watch some tv while i start filling up these containers that's kind of boring i've showed you guys how i do that several times um so i'm not really gonna show you that but i did want to um show y'all like some updates um this is just for any people who may have products similar to mine or just need an idea so for let me stand y'all up all right so um for the people who know my main products my growth cream so for my growth cream um we actually use these pictures 
So we pour the creams into the pitchers, fill them up, and then, you know, the little spout hole, you open it up where the circle is right here. And we use that to pour it into the container. So we use these for the creams, okay? These right here. Um, and for the oils, normally we use like a syringe, but um, I went to the dollar store and I found these funnels. So they're different sizes. Um, and these funnels can be used like to just um, easily um, put the oils into the dropper bottles, okay? Um, so yeah. For anybody who has, even if it's like shea butter or something like that, um, if you have products and you don't really know how to um, get them into the container, like mess free without wasting product and stuff like that, these are just some ideas. Um, if you look at my previous entrepreneur vlogs, then you'll see um, I've used other things before, um, but just as time goes on, I just try different stuff to see which way is the easiest. And these two have been the easiest so far, so. Keep that in mind but like i said i have um some batches to fill and i'm gonna do that while i watch dawson creek dawson's creek um and i'll be back all right y'all so i'm back i had to put my flexi rags in my hair because i was getting down to work but we have let me show y'all Officially 64 creams and sixty-four creams and how many oils was it? Fifty-one. Fifty-one oils. So I need to I have somewhere to be later, so um I'm gonna print out the labels so she has to start putting the labels on there. Um but I wanted to show you guys something so um before i start editing and stuff like that um i am gonna show you guys something that i added to my store so stay tuned. all right y'all so here's the tea so things that i do when i don't have orders i like to update my website um add new stuff to my website like i said before so um i don't even think i have a video of what it used to look like but I did change my website up a little bit, so I'm gonna show y'all. Let me turn that off. So this is the new website. Um, we have the chat feature over here to get help from one collection. Um, so scroll, we have the collections. You see the leaves falling giving very much fall vibes i'm working on a timer right now i'm still working on that though um and this is what my products look like and i have my instagram feed down at the bottom um you guys can't really see it because i'm on the admin but there's an arrow over here there's a green arrow where it'll take you back to the top of the page um and so when you click on the products this is actually what it looks like so this stays still and then it just shows the different slides of the product um, and then at the bottom um, it gives recommendations so that's like one of my favorite parts but um, I have been working on this and this is the Brooklyn theme because I know someone's gonna ask my menus over here um, but yeah this is the Brooklyn theme so if you guys want to try out this theme go right ahead all right y'all so something that i actually added to my website was a buy now pay later app so if you guys have a business pay business paypal um you can always um enable the business paypal pay now uh buy now pay later um so i have that active on my website as well as sezzle s-e-z-z-l-e um one of my members destiny um she actually told us about this um and I added this to my website where it's kind of like Afterpay. Um, I could not sign up with Afterpay. They were giving me too many issues. But um, adding websites like these just make your website um, way more fun for people to shop on. Especially because they can get more and then um, just pay later. Um, so with these apps, from my knowledge, 
they pay you the amount up front and then the customer is just responsible for paying the company back so you get your money um so like i said i have sezzle i have pay now i mean paypal pay later um there's clarina there's afterpay there's a firm um and there's a lot more other ones but sezzle and paypal are the two that i have right now and i may expand and get some more but um definitely look into adding these to your website with sezzle it's pretty much easy once you're approved you have your llc number or your ein number and all that stuff you um approve and they confirm all that stuff is correct they give you the key and literally you just add an alternative payment method to shopify so um if you guys have um been approved for this app or if you're going to apply for the app and then um decide i mean you get approved and you need to come back to this video later on let's just i'm gonna just show y'all just in case all right so my computer cut off but um so you go to settings and then you go to payments um and literally you just go down to alternative payment methods choose alternative payment method and then you just type in sezzle um after pay um affirm like all of them pop up and then you just connect your accounts and it'll say that they're active you see it says sezzle is active yeah i've been just working on my website and i know someone's gonna ask about the app for um the different things that i've added to my website i am gonna do a video if you guys want me to comment below and let me know um on the best shopify apps or shop shopify apps that you guys should try um i have quite a few on here but um literally you just search seasonal effects in the apps in the app store for um just different stuff um they have so much stuff in that um shopify app store my current attempt to have a countdown on my website is a fail it didn't work i paid ten dollars for an app and didn't work it just happens it does i'm not tripping though um but i'm just looking at different um Different things that I can add to my website. This is like my favorite thing to do when I have no orders. Um, if I end up doing anything else, I will let you guys know. I'm kind of like over the website thing right now. Um, I need to take a break because I've been working on it for a little bit now. So, like I said, for the people who did or who I know are going to want to know. Um, let me see if I can pull up the old one. The Okay, so the theme that I originally used for my very first launch of my website was the debut 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 so this is i like to do it in mobile y'all know that so that's the debut theme that i used originally and as you guys can see i'm trying to get this back on my website if my camera will focus um and it tells you that i offer the uh four interest free payments on paypal um but this is a small look at what my website used to look like okay versus the new one which is a, the brooklyn theme and this is a free theme so waiting for that to load i showed you guys the desktop version i'm going to show you the mobile version so this is what it looks like oh hold on just one more time and my slideshow automatically goes um collections 1k favorites and yeah that's pretty much how it goes and then the instagram feed is at the bottom right now but i did get a new ipad so another thing that i've been doing lately is rewriting all my recipes um on my ipad so app that i have is um called good notes um so y'all are gonna get a little sneak peek i guess but um this is pretty much what i like to use now um on my ipad so for an example let's see um black friday ideas and this is my apple pencil and so it 
just mess around with this and you know create new folders notebooks rest um recipes and stuff like that um so this is a really cool app that i've been playing around a lot with lately like i said um i've been rewriting a lot of my recipes because i have like recipes written in a bunch of different notebooks and stuff like that so it's definitely getting me organized i currently am about to just edit some videos another thing to keep me busy um i don't want to feel like i'm lecturing you guys too much but i did just want to emphasize the fact that um in order to create generational wealth you want to try to have seven streams seven different streams of income so for me um i have my business and I have several different businesses um, and then of course YouTube so for me when my business isn't booming or not booming but when I don't have any orders I'll take the time to record for you guys um, clearly what I'm doing now um, edit videos that need to be put out for both my channels because I'm trying to get back on my other channel um, plan Instagram content um, plan youtube content write down ideas just a bunch of different stuff um so like for an example i'm an influencer also so for an example um let me see if i can show you i have kind of like semi-planned if it will focus let me turn down my brainness uh semi-planned my instagram feed so this stuff, all this stuff actually isn't posted on Instagram, but I'm just posting it on the app to see how it'll look on my feed. And um, I'm actually going to start doing the same for my business page as well. Um, and like I said, when you're doing um, creating products, mixing products, filling products and so forth, you always need to get content. So I think for my website, I want to change the picture for the cream and the oil to like an actual picture of it in like almost like you're getting a look into the 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 pot of cream you know um i forgot to get one for the oil but um videos like just different content to post on instagram um so sometimes it's cool to just update the pictures on your website if they've been there for a while retake them um, update the products update the labels i'm always updating my labels and i feel like stuff like that it's not necessarily rebranding um it's just redoing upgrading it, it i feel like there's never you can't ever upgrade your business too many times like upgrade as much as you can make stuff better um i'm giving y'all speech again but anyways i'm about to edit some youtube videos um i don't know if i'll be doing anything else um tonight chance is currently putting the labels on the creams in the um oils downstairs so um i'll probably take some of those to the shop tomorrow um uh, for my dad and everyone else's customers um because they've been asking about it and it's been out of stock so if i do anything else tonight of course i'll hit y'all up if not i'll hit y'all up tomorrow the next day one of these days and yeah my phone's ringing so i'm out what's good y'all so i'm back it's like two days later but still doing the same thing um so i have actually i actually have orders today but i wanted to continue on and show y'all kind of like what i do you know when i don't have any orders so ooh, 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 ooh. so mo is on facetime i'm gonna just say that wave mo um but on my ipad i'm gonna just um if i need to reference anything so i wanted to tell y'all really quick uh, about the buy now pay later um, options that I did add to my website so um, over the time like I said I like to just basically work on my website because if people are buying it's probably one of a couple things so kind of like what I said in the beginning um, it may not be people's pay week or you know they may it may be the week where their bills is coming out their account so they're not gonna go buy the stuff that they want they gonna pay for what they need but um, another thing I was saying was somewhere in between my Instagram and my website is where I kind of lost them. So it may be um, my Instagram didn't necessarily tell them where to go shop. So they didn't know that I had a website or when they get to my website, they were looking for a certain product and they couldn't find it. So um, I kind of like switched around my website, which I always do anyway. But um, for the buy now, pay later 
apps that I added, I added them because if there's a buy now pay later option, people are more than likely gonna get more, like get more of something. So the apps that I got were Sezzle, PayPal, and um, Quapay. So for most of them, they pretty much require the same stuff. Um, it's pretty much you have to have an EIN number, um, a business name. Am I missing anything? I think it was really just the EIN number and the business name. Um, and of course, like a website to link it to. Um, and the only thing is with Quad Pay, you have to have an order over $35. So as long as the order is over $35, they can use Quad Pay. Um, but for Sezzle, I believe they can use it for any order. And once you pretty much uh, submit your application or whatever and connect your um, routing and account number, you just um, take the steps to add the platforms to your website. So for me, I've been kind of like struggling with the coding for PayPal um, and Sezzle. So they pop up at my checkout, but they don't pop up underneath the actual prices of my product. But with Quad Pay, they do. So um, I'm going to just show y'all real quick, like an example. Um, okay. So I hope y'all can see this. Or maybe I should flip the camera. Let me see. Um, hold on. So right here, it says right there, uh, for interest free payments of $13. So quad pay pops up under the actual product, but like I said, Sezzle and PayPal do not. With my last website theme, which was the deep debut, deb, deb, how do you say that word? Debut, 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 the debut um, uh, theme, the PayPal notice came up at the top of the website on the home page, but it was still kind of like janky looking. So I, when I did switch themes, I didn't use the same coding. Um, let me see if I could pull up um, after pay though. I mean, it's not really hard to do. In the way to basically edit coding, I really should have did like a screen recording on my like phone. I mean, on my, uh, what's it called? What is it? On my computer or something but I, it, that's too much um so basically you go to the menu you go to online store and where it says themes um and then where it has your theme and has, it has the actions button with the arrow and then it has customized you click the actions arrow and then you click edit code so when you do edit code that's basically all the coding for your website um for afterpay I believe I only entered the code at the bottom of my theme. I mean, not after pay, quad pay. I keep saying after pay. So for quad pay, um, it does give you instructions, but if y'all are more visual learners, I'm just going to show y'all this screen really quick on my iPad. So if it'll focus, okay. So, okay, you guys see these are like all the little options you have for the theme okay so I just clicked on theme liquid and it pops up this is all the coding for the website scroll all the way down and down at the bottom you literally just paste the code that they give you and it pops up on your website after that of all the stuff that I added to my website. I mean, unless y'all want me to. I've been at the dentist and um, doing some other stuff, so I didn't really have a chance to do what I wanted to do. But I was still brainstorming while um, I didn't have any orders. I came up with some video ideas and I have them written down on my good notes. If you have an iPad or a phone, really, um, definitely get good notes. This is a really cool app to use, especially with your little Apple Pen. Um, you can write down your notes. I wrote down some video ideas. Um, and uh, for both of my channels, actually, one in particular for this channel, 
for holidays and then um you know some other ones from other channel if you don't have orders don't be discouraged just keep busy keep doing something um and like i said there should always you should never just be i guess quote unquote content with your business like you need to always be having ideas trying to get some new stuff you know and i have some new stuff that i'm ordering from my vendor right now i was looking at their little catalog they had launched some new stuff so that's another thing um but yeah just don't let yourself i mean no let me not say that well yeah i mean it's okay to have downtime but just don't have like time to sit and sulk because um from the comments that i've read a lot of you guys definitely do sit and sulk in the fact that you don't have orders but just because you don't have orders don't mean your business isn't doing great so um yeah that's pretty much it what i do um when i don't have any orders um always trying to take my business to the next level even though sometimes i just be needing downtime nap time and sometimes that's what i do um i'll just sit and watch netflix um and then also yesterday we did um oh my ring light started falling we did um do uh i think four more batches of cream so um i'll be filling those probably tomorrow or the next day so keeping busy so like i said those containers are for glitters and sorbets and stuff so i'll definitely be working on that for the next couple days so that it could be prepared for black friday i think i'll probably start doing the sample bundles in the packages on black friday before we get into the next thing i do want to do some small business shout outs i'm going to do a couple for brands that i lost the content for so i don't actually have the items in my hand and then i'll do some for the ones that I actually have packages for so give me a second all right so first i'm gonna do the brands that i lost my content for so the first brand is a fresh scented face mask so i remember this brand off the top of my head and this brand actually um sells basically the regular face mask but they're scented with different fragrances and each fragrance gives you a different vibe different feel or um promotes different things so um for an example there's a lavender face mask and that promotes relaxation and calmness physically and emotionally um lavender is a must-have at all times when inhaled lavender can relieve headaches and nausea um then we have peppermint um peppermint promotes healthy respiratory function and clear breathing when ingested so these are just two examples of the mask or two masks that i actually did get um and fun fact, the cards actually smell like the scent also. But um, yeah, the masks are basically infused with um, certain oils and scents. Um, just so that like, because I know, it, I say this all the time, people will be laughing. Like, it stresses me out to be breathing my own breath all the time. Like, sometimes I just want fresh air. And like, I'm not saying my breath stink or it be hot or funky or nothing. But like, dang, like, can I get a little breeze? And like, it's nice, you know, getting a little something, something different in your mask. So make sure you guys shop um fresh scented face mask and that is fresh scented face mask.com so make sure you guys go shop this brand okay so the next brand is janae's naturally made and janae's naturally made is a skincare line um they have soaps they have body butters and all types of different naturally made things um so the i don't see a website on here i just see an email um, but I did find the Instagram and the Instagram is Janae's Naturally Made. Um, so I'm assuming that orders are either taken through DM or email. So make sure you guys go um, follow Janae's Naturally Made and place your orders. Next we have Vein Lux Collections. Um, Vein Lux Collections is a raw hair brand. So this brand sells bundles, um, bundles, lip gloss, lipstick, headbands, accessories, everything beauty related you name it they got it so the instagram is vein lux collections and then the email oh not the email and then the website is veinluxcollections.com so make sure you guys go shop this brand as well okay so the next brand that i actually don't have anything to show you guys for is yaya's creations um yaya underscore creations on instagram yaya creations with the s and a z dot com 
um and also on youtube yaya's creations so um this brand um the thing that mostly stuck out for me i do remember is the uh golden body butter so it's like a super shimmery body butter um and i got other um body and skin products from this brand as well so make sure you guys shop yaya's creation all right so on to the next brands the next brand that i have here is tree of life hair care um this is a fairly new business and it is a um black owned and christian natural hair care brand um so the first product i have is the hydrating hair growth oil and then i have the twist and lock soufe 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 um and this brand's instagram is just at tree of life hair care um i don't see a website so when i do find the instagram i will link the website if i see one so make sure you go check out this um small and new black owned christian owned hair care business okay so the next brand i have is looks by l and k um and that's looks by l in the letter n not n the letter n k.com and on instagram it's looks by l and k so from this brand the first thing that stuck out to me is this glow rose infused face oil um we also have a couple lip glosses and this is a scrub i believe it's a lip scrub and it's called sugar baby and so yeah i'm assuming like i said this one's probably a lip scrub and this one's a body scrub and this one's called sugar mama so this is pretty much a skincare slash lip care brand um so make sure you guys shop looks by l and k all right so the next brand is tinted glam the instagram is tinted underscore glam um and i don't see a website on any of these cards so from tinted glam i got a couple things first thing that caught my attention of course is this detangling brush y'all know i live for the detangling brushes because i got curly hair and sometimes it'd be a struggle then y'all look at this look i'm not even, i'm gonna show y'all last so i got this lip i believe it's a lip oil yes so this lip oil or lip gloss um and then um some samples so leave-in conditioner um retinol infused eye mask and the collagen infused lip mask so that's really cool um but the thing that stuck out the most to me and it's branded also let me say that has her brand name on there is this lipstick look at this lipstick a nice nude i'm keeping this period period um, and once again, the brand name is Tinted Glam, and that's Tinted underscore Glam on Instagram. And last but not least, um, I kept this brand for last because I seen that this pick this package came from France. Um, so I don't want to slaughter this name, so I'm not even gonna say it. Um, so this is the brand. It's gonna be somewhere on this screen. It's gonna be somewhere in there. Um, and the Instagram is A D E by b u k i i um and it's the same thing that i just spelled dot com i sound so dumb but like i really don't want to slaughter the name um but oh i got a little typed up uh y'all can't even see it typed up um thank you car um okay well hold on hold on they gave me the pronunciation it's a day i don't know how to say the last part though but this brand is a hair care brand for kinky curly hair um so they sent me the dare deep conditioner the lolani leave-in conditioner and a sample of the boom hair oil so okay i got me a scrunchie y'all know a little y'all know a little, little hair accessories a little purple scrunchie um and then look at this branding yo this is this looks good mm, that smells like chocolate so this is the deep conditioner. Um, here is the sample of the oil. And then this is the leave-in conditioner. I'm excited because I really love leave-in conditioner. So I'm definitely gonna try this out. But once again, the brand's Instagram is a no, it's I Day by B U K I I. And it's 
Ah Day by B U K I I dot com. So make sure you guys go shop these brands. Um, all of their information will be down in the comment section so you guys can copy and paste straight to Instagram, straight to your Safari or whatever, so you guys can shop and tell them I sent you. And so before this video is over. I'm just going to put in my two cents, or not even my two cents, but I'm just going to say this. Hear me, and hear me good. Are y'all ready? Just because y'all see people on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube selling out and packing 10,000 orders, does not mean that you need to be packing and sending out 10,000 orders to make the same amount that they're making. I'm just going to say that. Because a lot of these people is charging little to nothing. And that's why they have so many orders. Some people may be, be charging a lot. But like don't let you know all these people having all these tens and thousands of orders discourage you. Because it's all for the gram. It's all for the social medias. Okay. Of course you know it's, it's cool to you know show your progress or whatever. But like some people literally just do it to put on this facade and some people don't do it for a facade but a lot of people do but I'm just saying this like them is not the kind of people that you should be following and look or uh, well I mean if you're a type of person who bases your success off of what someone else is doing those ain't the kind of people you should be following you should be following people who are like-minded like you so other small business owners um People who are going to motivate you, repost motivating stuff, positive stuff. Like, you know, you just, it, you got to be be careful what, you, what you're feeding yourself. Because a lot of times I see y'all um, not complaining, but kind of like talking about how y'all be discouraged. And I think it's mainly because y'all are looking at what other people are doing. Just because other people, like I said, have ten, tens and thousands of orders doesn't mean that your store ain't doing just as good as theirs is. Because a lot of people who are... Sending out that much stuff have been in business for a minute. You have to remember that we're small. We just started. You got to trust the process. And that's it. I'm gone. I'm going to bed. Bye.